Uh, hey, this is Paul at Paul Component, and today we're going to talk about uh, one of the most interesting and amazing machine tools ever made, in my opinion. Uh, and I've made a lot of bike parts on here, but this is not going to be about bike parts so much, so uh, just if you're not into it, just uh, move along. This is what's called a Kearney and Trucker Model 2D, and it has the regular X axis, the Y axis, and the Z axis. But this baby has something special going on in here. It actually has a rotary table built into the head. So uh, I'm gonna do some circular cuts and explain a little bit about that. But um, you can move this spindle off center and then engage the rotary and it will cut a circle or it will cut a half a circle or you can cut an angle um, anyways this was the height of machine tools before computers came along and ruined everything for everyone but uh so i'm just gonna do a little uh do a little touch off here this is the worst thing about it, is you gotta have this giant wrench for the quill lock bridgeport is way more handy on there so that's zero and that is zero. Take it down, turn that on. Um, power feed on the X. We'll go up, we'll take uh, 100 thou, cut 100 thousandths of an inch, 0.1. Okay, so the spindle's going, and check this out, it's got auto feed back and forth, <clears throat> but the spindle is on center, so it's not doing anything. So it can go back and forth. You can put dogs on here if you got a production job. It'll, you know, it might take a little bit to set up, but it'll stop if you wanna go 29 degrees, it'll stop at 29. Um, so what I'm gonna do now, check that out, it's moving off center. I'm going to move it one inch, and we got our thousandth style right here. Put that on zero. And let's see what happens. <clears throat> so if you wanted a two inch diameter circle, you'd have to uh, add or subtract the half of the radius of the, I mean half of the diameter of the cutter, the radius of the cutter. Uh, this is not the scientific uh, kind of thing we're doing here. It's just a demonstration. Well, look at that nice little curve. So we'll go back here. Let's say, oh, we got to do that. Uh, we got to do an angle cut at 120 degrees. Then you go over here and you move this. And now it's now cutting. You can cut at an angle. So I just think this is the greatest thing. I made a stems on here, made a lot of tooling. Um, it's real fun. You can make things look real nice, not all sharp cornered. Yeah, so this radius was cut on that machine. This radius was cut on that machine. Uh, not particularly necessary, but, but it's nice to not have a lot of sharp edges. So this has got a nice curve in it. That's just pure aesthetics. That was just fun. The other fun thing is you can it does have power feed, so you can get a little bit of a spirograph thing going on here. You can also put a rotary table on here that will turn as the table moves. So the rotary table's moving, the table is moving, and the cutter's going around like this. It's like, it's completely mind-blowing little kid sketchbook sort of a situation. So imagine all the possibilities. Um, this is the only one in the world that I know of, this model, and they made a few thousand of them. Uh, and I searched for a long time and bought uh, what I thought was a really good one. And it's turned out to be really good. It's got full digital. I also have been able to buy some attachments. Look at this beauty. This goes on the spindle. So now this has a four inch max. Now we have a, an eight inch radius we can do. Also, tilting head, this is, the cutter comes out here, this can tilt, and it's got a quill, it's just, 
It's just a uh, machine dork's dream right there. So, so that's it. I hope you've all been very excited and thrilled and titillated by this video because it really worked for me. Have a great ride. Man, man, man. <laughs>